WWE's Becky Lynch reportedly set to return soon, plans for War Games match. Kane Velasquez is allowed to wrestle at December's AAA event. And WWE signs cheer star Gabby Butler to a contract. Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest, and I got a couple of news stories for you here today. We're going to go ahead and kick it off with a report that Becky Lynch is returning at War Games. Take a look. The return of Becky Lynch to WWE appears to be imminent. According to Fightful, the former multi-time WWE Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion is planned to be the mystery partner for the women's War Games match at Saturday's Survivor Series. On Monday's Raw, Bianca Belair said the fifth member would be revealed on this Friday SmackDown and that people tuning in wouldn't be disappointed. Becky Lynch has been out of action since July SummerSlam after suffering a separated shoulder in her match with Belair. No surgery was required and she was expected to miss several months at the time. And speaking of Bianca Belair, she and her husband Montez Ford were guests on Tuesday's edition of the Today Show. When asked about a calf injury he's been recovering from, Montez Ford said he's feeling 100% and should be back in the ring soon. Ford has been out of action since September due to the injury. The couple were on the Today Show to officially announce their reality series that WWE is producing for Hulu. The series was mentioned on WWE's third quarter Investors Call earlier this month. The reality show, which will have an eight-episode season, is set to start filming within the next few weeks. Ford and Belair have been married since 2018. It was announced via People Today that Cheer star Gabby Butler has signed a WWE contract. Butler told People that she fell in love with pro wrestling after attending this year's SummerSlam in Nashville, where she spent time with co-CEO Stephanie McMahon. Butler said Stephanie really inspired her to take the leap into WWE. People wrote that Butler will be training at the Performance Center. Butler currently has two years of college eligibility left and is currently thinking about where she wants to cheer next year. Butler told People that she is looking forward to the challenge of competing in an actual wrestling match one day. Cheer premiered on Netflix in 2020. The show followed the ups and downs of Navarro's college's competitive cheer squad as they worked to win a coveted national title. Butler currently has 2.6 million followers on TikTok and 2.1 million on Instagram. If there was any doubt as to Marina Shafir's status with AEW, that can now be dismissed. During her appearance on Renee Paquette's podcast this week, Shafir was talking about her schedule and referenced, quote, before I got signed with AEW when answering a question. It's unknown how many years she is under contract for and whether it precludes her from working elsewhere. Shafir debuted nearly a year ago on an early December AEW dark taping in Orlando, Florida. She continued to work several dark matches before making her Dynamite debut in mid-April. Since then, she has been a dark and dark elevation regular with a handful of appearances on Dynamite and Rampage. On yesterday's video, we spoke about Kane Velasquez requesting an opportunity to wrestle at AAA. Well, we officially have an update. A Santa Clara, California judge has allowed former UFC heavyweight champion Kane Velasquez to wrestle at AAA's event in Tempe, Arizona on Saturday, December 3rd. Velasquez, who has worked with AAA before, will be able to remove the GPS monitor attached to him per the conditions of his bail, but must both take and pay for a law enforcement officer with him on the trip. He can travel by plane and his house confinement restriction. Another bail condition will be waived temporarily from December 1st through December 4th. On Monday, Velasquez said his legal team requested permission for him to wrestle at the show that is being held at his alma mater at Arizona State University. This will be AAA's first show in the country since September 2019 and Velasquez's first match since December 2021. And that's a wrap for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next vid. Before you go, do not forget to check out some of our additional content here on F4W Online and make sure to subscribe.